Hi everyone, it's Chris with Ledoux.com and PrintedRobots.net. I've been working on a project uh, to give my robot a sense of presence, a sense of self, uh, in a virtual world. Uh, one of the tools that I'm experimenting with is Noitcom's uh, Perception Neuron. Uh, this particular kit is really um, crosses the border between motion capture and the virtual world of gaming. And so what I'm going to do is do an unboxing. Okay, you can see that the box itself is very well packaged. Um, Perception Neuron, of course. And on the box, it has a parts list of what's shipped in it. Okay. So that's the box. Let's pull that out. And right on top is the thank you for all of the Kickstarters that contributed to the uh, project success. Everyone that did contribute has their name on the thank you card. Uh, on the back is the invoice if you're looking for an invoice. Okay, so this is the kit. It's in a uh, very nice carrying case uh, that's embossed uh, with the Perception Neuron logo. And then on the back, it has the web address. Uh, on the front is the Kickstart Guide. Uh, that basically goes through the entire setup for you. Oops, there we go. And so you've got your arms. And your legs. And gloves with straps. And you have your main body. And these are all the straps with wiring uh, for the uh, perception neurons to plug into. Uh, Here's the magnetic protection case uh, for the neurons themselves. And then the hub. 
And then uh, this is the shutter. And we'll actually open up each of these packages to take a close look at them. And it looks like here we have the data cable and power cable. Uh, the dual pogo pin and the prop cables. Then finally a quick guide uh, showing how they all plug in together front and back. Uh, your limited warranty And then the different modes for uh, working with the straps. As I purchase the 11 neuron pack, uh, what I'll do is go ahead and show you the components. I'm not going to go into all the straps, but I will uh, use the gloves and uh, an armband. And I'll show you how to how I'm installing them. Um, let's start off with the hub. Okay, so this is the neuron hub. Uh, you'll see on top uh, there's space for the micro uh, SD card. Uh, we've got a USB for the data, USB for the power, and then the actual connector leading up to the the actual connector leading up to the neurons. Okay, the power cable and the data cable. Uh, so this is the uh, pogo, the dual pogo pin cable, and then the prop cable, uh, where you can put your perception neuron. Okay. Then this is the perception neuron magnetic case. And then we've got the 11 neurons right in here. And let me pull one out. It's a, it's a pretty fine piece of equipment uh, in a very tiny package. So the neurons are designed to slide in uh, with the pins and then push them down, straight down, for a connection. Uh, line the connectors up uh, with the connectors inside the receptacle. I don't know if you guys can see that. Slide it in and Push it down so the connectors connect.
Okay. So here's the, the shoulder strap with the pogo pin. We'll put a neuron on there. Just clip that down. Uh, now, what I did that you guys didn't see, it looks like there is supposed to be one right on top of the wrist, or in the middle of the hand, and then I had missed putting on a neuron. Okay. And so, neuron and a full hand, got the connector uh, up above, there's room for um, uh, another connector to the strap set. Uh, but with that we'll start the uh, Access Neuron uh, software, the Access software, and then we'll uh, plug it in per the instructions and we'll see what happens. When you initially start the access program the quick start guide will come up and you can minimize that. Uh, once that's minimized go ahead and plug in the hub uh, via the USB port. Plugged in the access software will detect it click connect. The default model will load into the virtual space. Since I'm not wearing the full body harness I will not be doing the S pose. It's important that your body position be the same as the calibration illustration. Once the calibration is done, you can see that the model movements correspond with your body movements. In my particular case I only have the arm and hand uh, configured, but if you're wearing a full body harness presumably it would uh, the model's movements would correspond with your movements. Unfortunately my desktop recorder had problems displaying the uh, full screen mode that shows a, a larger image of the model and its movements. Uh, my apologies for that. When you're ready to record your motion, go ahead and click on the record button at the top right hand side of the world view. When you're ready to stop recording, press the record button again. This will allow you to save your movement file. Uh, to play the movement file uh, once it's saved, just highlight it and double click on it. This will load the motion file into the virtual world display window and click play uh, to start scrolling through the motion that was recorded. To export the file, uh, for use in other programs, go to File and Export. And select the file format. I use BBH uh, for Blender. I gave it a file name and I exported the file. That pretty much covers it. It's a straightforward, uh, very professional product and tool. I think that 
everyone that receives it will be very pleased with their investment. And I wish everyone the best of luck and thanks for watching. Uh, please post any comments that you have below and take care. Bye-bye.